know we can pick up that skill. Yes. That's a good point, Avengers Ross, because if we hang around, I just use best time. If we hang around best time, since we talk about best time, if we hang around best time long enough, we will pick up best time spirit. What do I mean? I'm glad you asked me. I will pick up a spirit of disobedience. Mm -hmm. So when I'm in the ass to do something, I will pick up her spirit and not do it. And have a spirit of disobedience. And then by me doing that, I will pay the consequences of my disobedience. Which is what happened to her. So if you hang around people long enough, you will pick up their spirit, whether it be good or bad. You will pick it up. If you hang around long enough. Anybody else want to add? Let me go back to 18 for a moment. Notice it says, there's wrath, much contempt, and wrath. What, caught, what happened was also, the king caused him to have a violent temper. It caused, her disobedience caused him to have a violent temper. <laughs> wow. Mm. Now let's go to chapter 2. Before we go to chapter 2, let me see something more. Let me read verse 20. Verse 20 of chapter 1. And when the king's decree which he shall make shall be published throughout all his empire, for it is great, all the wives shall give their husbands honor, both to great and small. He signed, watch this, he signs a decree, because if you notice what we read previously, Vestai calls them to uh, despise their husbands. So he gets wind of that. He knows that. And so now he decides to decree that, that, that they are to honor their husbands. All this is going on. He's putting things into place, into place. Because she's messed up. She done messed up. Because she's messed up. And because if you hang around somebody messed up, you won't be messed up. <laughs> now let's go to verse 2. Chapter 2, brother. Now, before I go to chapter 2, I want to talk about this. A new queen is about to be chosen. A new queen is about to be chosen. Vesta loses her queenship. She loses her position as queen. Hmm? Like so. Now, she's going to get it up. The reason why I'm going to solve all same thing. Disobedience. <laughs> wow. Let's look at verse. I need somebody to read verse 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Anybody? Uh, he, he got, he got, he got, 
Did I know what it was? Huh? Where was it? Where is it? You should tell me that. How does this? Huh? Yeah, the <laughs> Brother Jacob said, it's verse 7. <laughs> I said, what did you say? He said, I'm going to see somebody else say <laughs> that, that was her real name. But because she was in captivity with the ba to the Babylonians, they changed her name like they did Daniel and three Hebrew boys. King's eunuch, I guess. <laughs> the custody of, yeah, he, he gave the king's eunuch. Yeah, two words. <laughs> I was, I, I'm trying to get you to think. <laughs> it was a king's eunuch. He's provided all this for her. He already sees that. She's pretty. So what he's doing is making her look prettier. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it before the king? So to me, it's a, the text suggests that Esther has already gotten the king's eunuch's attention and her being beautiful or her being pretty. He's already got her attention. And so the, the text suggests that since I'm going to provide this for you, I need you to go before the king. We'll see this in a moment, shortly. The time permits. And watch how, watch how God orchestrates this thing. Watch how he orchestrates this thing. Because she gets kicked out. Because of this reason. But watch how God orchestrates the next queen. Okay, continue reading. I'm sorry. Gave her seven choice maids from the king's palace and transferred her and her maids to the best place in the harem. 
Stop. Now notice there are a whole bunch of other women. But it looks like she's selected. And she has seven maids. Already she ain't been queen. See how God set this up? See how it's unfolding? She has seven maids. Continue, watch this. Hold on for a minute before you start. And he puts her, not in the dungeon, he puts her in the best place in the palace. The best place. See, God started to this thing. He started to open this thing. Go ahead, verse 10. Thank you. Esther did not make known her people or her kindred. Mordecai instructed her that she should not make them known. Okay, watch this. Mordecai, her uncle, who raised her as a daughter, he instructs her. Don't tell who you are. Don't tell your background. Shh, be quiet. Don't do anything. Keep, keep going. 